everything was kind of stacked against us and after that first quarter but the biggest thing for us is we we played solid defense we just couldn't get a rebound and couldn't necessarily create flow in the offensive end because of that um, so if you kind of focus on the positives after the first quarter it's not all that bad um, and just you know understand it's a long game and stick with the process and I can't use that term can I uh, stick with the program and uh, you know figure it out and also some about your defense. Um, do they, maybe they don't talk about the grit. Is this a gritty team? Is this a tough team? It is. I mean, we're, we play a, obviously, you could call it a finesse style, and it's free-flowing and whatnot, but when we, you know, when we're at our best, we talk about our defense. It's about, um, you know, having each other's back, trying to do little things, um, you know, physically to keep teams out the paint, keep teams off the glass, and if we're able to do that, we're, we're usually uh, in, in great positions to win, so I definitely call us, you know, a tough team that understands, you know, how to win. What is it about this team that you've been able to handle adversity throughout this season, whether it's today, whether it's today, being down 22 on the road? What is it about this? Um, every game's different, but you, you don't let go of the rope. You know, whether you end up with a win or loss, you can't ever feel like you're out of it, and just uh, you know, understand based on the experiences we've had the last three years that uh, you know we have what it takes to to win all sorts of ways. Uh, whether you know whether you're down 15 and can't figure out what's going on in the first quarter, or you know you put together a beautiful you know performance for 48 minutes, it just doesn't matter. Night in, night out, you just got to be ready to play. Stuff from a month ago, fearing that, that Durant could be out, and that feeling you guys had in the locker room to, to now with the way you won here without him knowing he's coming back. Can you, can you explain how the confidence in this team has grown during that time? I mean, you can uh, isolate any part of the season and, um, you know, it, it can it can be kind of overblown. Just 82 games with a lot of different storylines and things like that. Obviously, you hate to see KD go down, and he's going to be back soon. But we never really lost confidence in ourselves. We never, you know, there's no panic. Um, and we've we've just battled, and I think the perspective for us is, you know, down the stretch of the season, you know how different this year is versus last year. It's all about just upping our performance and um, you know getting better as we go into the playoffs. And whoever's in that roster, whoever's in the lineup ready to play, know know they're going to have an impact on the game. Yeah, ten assists the last five games. Is it been anything different? led to that real bump in assists from us seven to, to ten per game? Uh, just in more of a more better positions, with, you know, a lot more pick and rolls and, and uh, just being more aggressive with the mindset of, you know, drive and kick. Um, the ball's been moving crazy, obviously. For me to get assists, guys got to make shots, and we've been doing that. Um, and so it's been it's been a fun way to play. So, um, you know, Coach always talks about promoting ball movement, whether it's through certain sets where you know I'm setting screens, moving out the ball, or you know more predictable where you know you come off a pick and roll, just try to find the open guy. Um, good things happen. Is 